Holy crap. I think we're here. Although, that being said, I'm not sure we're supposed to be here. So we may want to be as quiet as possible. Although they may already know. Okay, so I think as long as none of them see this terminal here, we should be fine. But what exactly does this want us to do? Or was that it? Yeah, I'm honestly not too sure. I think for now we might as well just keep moving. Hello. Oh no. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Alright guys, I think you already know. I've got a bad feeling about this, but... We're doing it nonetheless. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, Countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone but that can wait you are here for a specific very personal reason you are here for your son all right well if he's willing to talk guess we might as well be willing to listen Don't have the key. No way to pick this. Hang on, there's no way that's Sean, is it? I mean, he does kind of look like me, doesn't he? Kind of difficult to tell at this point, though. It's stuck. You know, I wonder if maybe we're not supposed to be up here. I think that might be the case. But you know, he's got a point. We could just be prejudging these guys based off what we've heard from everyone else. And let's be honest, I don't think any of them have actually been down here and seen what these guys are really up to. I guess, isn't there a chance maybe these guys aren't so bad after all? I mean, sure, it may be unlikely, but if our son's here, maybe that's a chance we should be willing to take. Wait a second, I wonder. Can we talk to him? Wait a minute. That is Sean. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. You know, I've been looking for you. For who the hell knows how long. Sean. I've been looking for you for... 
so long. Who are you? Sean, it's me. Your dad. Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Oh, man. I'm honestly not sure what to say. Because how are we supposed to know what they've told them so far? Yes, it's me, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Why does it not seem like he's talking to us? Sean, open the door. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Yeah, it seems like he's calling someone else as if they're his dad. Sean, what's going on? Who is father? Where is father? he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Wait a second, you're telling me that kid? Is a synthetic? And what do you mean you're the father? Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you mean to your son. To Sean. Yeah, speaking of my son... Where is he? I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Oh, man. Yeah, when he was talking there, I just... I started noticing how similar he looked to me. I think it really is him. It's really you. After all this time. Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten? 60 years that is the reality and here I am raised by the Institute and now it's leader Sean I know this all makes sense now but why why you but why why take a child why take you ah now that's the question isn't it why me at that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being walking 
talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. All right. So they needed specimens, huh? So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. I think I get it now, but... All that being said... You still have to admit that they stole you from me in the end. You're not okay with that, are you? 60 years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Sean, you have no idea how many questions I have. But I mean, we might as well start with Nora, right? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. What the hell do you mean, collateral damage? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again, what else can I say to ease your mind? All right. What about Kellogg? What did he have to do with all this? Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You used him, didn't you? You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? You know, guys... I don't really think it's best that we get mad about him for Kellogg. I mean, it may seem that he gave him the okay to kill us, but then again, 
Weren't we the ones who went after him? So I don't really think Sean had anything to do with that part of the problem. I hope you're not too overwhelmed. Alright. So anything else you could tell me about, well, this place? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. Well, I can see that, but don't you think you're going about this? Maybe in the wrong way? They need your help, Sean. It's rough up there, to say the least. Oh, we've tried that. Surprised? The Institute once tried to help create a stabilized Commonwealth government. It ended in bickering, infighting. It was a disaster. No. We look after our own now. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Sean, you don't know how badly I want to hate this place. But I gotta say, you're making it really tough to do so. Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. All right, so what do you think I have left to learn? Is all that really necessary? What's there to learn? For now, it is enough that you understand that the Institute really is devoted to the betterment of humanity. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next.